Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the polarization. The polarization is nothing but the uniform plane wave, the polarization of the uniform plane wave refers time varying behavior of the electric field strength vector at some fixed point in space. How the wave is behave with the time? That is nothing but polarization. Whether, whether how it is varying with the given time. That is the polarization. Consider a uniform plane wave traveling in z direction. We can, we can refer the wave is traveling in the z direction. E and H lying in the xy plane. Electric field and magnetic field is lying in the xy plane. So in this x, y, z, the electricity, electric field intensity available in x plane, magnetic field intensity available in y plane and the plane wave is traveling in z direction. Right. Based on that, we will go for the consideration. So in this see the different types of the polarization. Suppose if E y is 0, only E x is, uh, uh, e -X is alone available, then the wave is said to be polarized in x direction, right? The E y is 0, only E x is available mean that wave is polarized in x direction, only in x direction, y direction is not available. Similarly, E h is 0, x is 0, y is on, y only available, then it is the wave is said to be polarized in y direction, right? So in this only Ex is available so that polarized in x direction. Only Ey is available so polarized in y direction. Other terms are zero. Suppose if both the Ex and Ey is available, then we will see that if both Ex and Ey both are available, then it is called a linear polarization, right? So the Ex is available in x axis, Ey available in y axis. This total E is nothing but sum of these two. The, so the, from the diagram this theta can be written as, theta can be calculated as tan inverse Ey by Ex. So the magnitude of E is nothing but square root of Eh square plus Ey square, this vector sum. So in the first case only Ex available, in the second case Ey available, in the third one linear polarization both X and Y is available. So that linearly vary, it varies the waveform, right. We will see the description. If both Ex and Ey are present and in phase or in in phase, then the resultant electric field has a direction of angle tan inverse Ey by Ex, right. So in the third type, both Ex and Ey is available and also in the in phase. So the resultant, the resultant electric field is having an ang angle of tan inverse Ey by Ex. If the direction of resultant vector is constant with the time, the wave is said to be linearly polarized. Right? The resultant, the direction of resultant vector should be a constant with time. Constant with time, then it is said to be linearly polarized. Right? Now we will go to the next type. So the next type is the circular polarization. Here also Ex and Ey is available having same magnitude and differ by 90 degree. The previous case in phase but here differ by 90 degree right. So Ex available, Ey also available having the same magnitude and differ by 90 degree. Exactly 90 degree means the, the wave traveling is nothing but a circular polarization because of 90 degree the wave will travel in a circular path. So this is Ex and Ey both are having same magnitude. The angle is 90 degree so that the resultant will follow the circular path. Right? So the description is given if Ex and Ey have the equal magnitude and a phase difference of pi by 2 then the locus of resultant electric field wave is a circle then the wave is said to be circularly polarized, right. Ex and Ey available both having same magnitude and differ by 90 degree, then the locus will be circled, the waveform is said to be circularly polarized. 
we'll see the one special case in this the next type elliptical polarization right so here also same ex and ey available but having different magnitude a and b see this the ex is lesser ey is higher so for example it is written like that the both the magnitudes are not equal in circular polarization both are equal and it's differ by 90 degree that is same the phase difference between a and b is 90 degree only thing is having different magnitude so that due to different magnitude it follows the elliptical form not a circular form if having the same magnitude mean we'll get circular polarization so due to different magnitude we are getting the elliptical polarization so the description is available ex and ey have different amplitude and phase difference of pi by 2 the locus of the resultant e is elliptic ellipse and the wave is said to be elliptically polarized right so in this we discuss the five types that is only ex available means polarized in x direction only ey is available mean polarized in y direction if both are available and is varying with the time means it is linear polarized if both are available with the same magnitude and 90 degree means circular polarization if both are available with different magnitude and 90 degree mean elliptical polarization so these five types we discussed in this video thank you